baptism, right? Like baptism is kind of a big deal in the Christian church. And if you go to a church where they regularly baptize people, you're like, wow, you know? And then if you're a new believer, it sort of comes to the question, well, when do I get baptized? It actually reminds me of a kind of a funny story. There was this friend of mine, it was a new church and I was involved in, I was one of the leaders at this new church. And uh, this guy had just been coming. And in fact, only been coming to church for about three weeks. His name was Jose. And uh, the gospel and Jesus had just captivated his mind and heart pretty much right from the start, even though it had only been three weeks. So I'm behind him. The church service is winding down. We're singing the last song of the church service. And Jose turns around to me behind him in the middle of this song and says, when can I get baptized? And I'm like, well, we could talk about that, like, and we could figure out time. He says, no, like, can I get baptized today? I want to get baptized today. And I'm like, well, we could work that out too. And so. We actually got a little water in the baptistry. We borrowed some shorts from somebody who lived right next to the church building. Jose put some shorts on. We baptized Jose and his wife, Heather, right there on the spot, impromptu, because he, he realized, I want to follow Jesus. This is who I, I want to be. And he saw baptism as that central, important act of beginning to follow Jesus. And I think that's really the way it should be. In fact, it reminds me of a story in the book of Acts where uh, the apostles are telling people about Jesus. Acts chapter 8, you actually have Philip, not one of the apostles, but just another early Christian, who goes and meets with an Ethiopian eunuch who's riding in a cart and heading back to his hometown. He's been in Jerusalem, he's heading home, he's riding in his cart, and Philip begins to teach him about Jesus. Well, in the middle of his conversation, the eunuch says to Philip, hey, look, there's some water, can I get baptized? And Philip ordered the cart to stop and they got down and he baptized the guy right then and there. And that's really what you see throughout the entire book of Acts. When somebody comes to faith in Jesus, they baptize them, usually on the very same day, like immediately. Uh, that even fits with what we know the Apostle Paul taught in some of his letters, like Romans 6, Galatians chapter 3, where Paul talks about baptism. He just says, he just assumes that the early Christians have all been baptized because it's what they did when they first became a believer in Jesus. They got baptized. And why is that? Well, the reason for that is because of Jesus' marching orders to the apostles and to us as his followers today. When Jesus was resurrected before he ascended back into heaven, Jesus said, go, make disciples. That's his mission he gave us, make disciples. Well, how do you do that? Baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything that I commanded you. And so the apostles took him seriously. And as they made disciples, they baptized them, usually right away, immediately, as an expression of their faith, as a, a declaration that they're gonna be faithful to Jesus. And so when should you get baptized? Well, if you're a believer in Jesus and you've decided Jesus is the, uh, the leader and the Lord and the savior of your life, then you should get baptized immediately, right now. There's nothing preventing you. You could even do it in your bathtub. You could do it in the swimming pool. You could do it in the river by your house. You should get baptized as soon as you put your faith in Jesus. Thank you.